But if you're like me and you're upgrading from something like this, Powerbeats Pro to this, my last thing. All right. This is something that's pissing me off. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. It wasn't that bad of a rant. I was expecting worse. So- uh what's up guys and welcome back to the dark room podcast my name is nick my name's adam so how was your week since we, or two weeks actually I, I since know. we last it's spoke been two weeks yeah um, it's been pretty good uh school has actually been sort of decent as as we get into it that's good that's good definitely stressful like it's a lot of work but it's not too bad let's just say so uh, that's good uh, we've hit the ground running as they say <laughs> they do say that uh-huh they who, who's All they we never know but them. Okay. yeah anyways uh my airpods came in yes which that's a topic we'll, we'll get to that in a sec good stuff iphone it's still missing it's missing in action yeah it's yeah. maybe this coming week it'll be here hopefully we'll hopefully <laughs> um but yeah how was your week good uh what did i just like been trying to shoot you know i'm trying to shoot at least once a week yeah and post that's, that's, because that's a good you know goal. yeah i think that's very doable too yeah i don't want to be like i'm gonna shoot every day which it's doable but i probably won't end up actually doing that so mm-hmm. if i do once a week then i can just build up from there um what else i don't know i've been watching some netflix the last like couple days Yep. Watching the new Dahmer show, Jeffrey okay. Dahmer, you okay. know, the okay. serial killer. Yeah. Okay. He's messed up. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty good <laughs> though. Pretty good. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's enough on that. Let's just go right into topics. Let's go. All right. Let's AirPods. Let's do it. Mine. Um, so this is actually perfect case because I have upgraded from yes, Powerbeats sir. Pro. If you have AirPods Pro already, don't get these. Don't get them. They're not that much better. And they're still like over $300. Don't get them. It's not worth it. But if you're like me and you're upgrading from something like this, Powerbeats Pro to this, highly recommend them. Really. I I really highly recommend. Um, Let me go over some things. So the AirPods Pro, as we know, just got the H2 chip. Mm-hmm. brand new that helps with sound processing and uh, the adaptive noise cancellation and transparency modes which all those modes the noise cancellation is really really good okay lovely um, lovely if i'm comparing it to like my sony headphones the over the ear ones it's not as good right because like right. it's better to have it fully covering your ear right? yeah 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 um but this they do a great job in canceling noise and the transparency modes is one of the best I've ever heard. Mm. It's so close to like hearing with just my ears, if that That's makes cool. sense. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. When I turn it on, it's like there's just music playing in the background and I can still hear people right. sort of normally, which is crazy. Yeah. The Sony's also have a transparency mode, but it, it's just like a, you hear, you're hearing from a bad microphone. Ah, uh, okay. Right? Yeah. It sounds off. It's not, not sure. like clear, right? Perfectly clear. Um, the AirPods Pro also got new drivers, amplifiers. There's more silicone tips for a better fit. Um, there's finally touch controls on the stems for volume, mm. which you'd think they'd put that on the previous AirPods Pro as yeah, well. You would have thought so, but no, you get them here. You can just swipe up and down to increase volume. Beautiful. Um, there's also this sp- uh, personalized spatial audio. Mm. where last yes. last time i mentioned you can just take your phone and kind of scan your ears and it creates a whole personalized experience um that has been very cool they have a mode where um it's it's either fixed to like just basically coming or like surrounding you and then you can turn it on to where it follows your phone so if you turn your head right. and your phone is still here it'll You'll hear it more on the right, right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It that part is crazy. It's really awesome. Um, I don't, I don't really know what people would use it for though. I was it's, about it's to like, say it's, it's a cool, cool gimmick. Yeah, but like, 
realistically, I'm not going to like yeah. have it on all the time. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right. We're, we're getting into the specs here a little bit. Um, all right. Six hours of battery life That's with good. just the That's AirPods good. themselves um, with active noise cancellation on. Okay. That's that's okay. Six hours is pretty good. Yeah. With the case, you can get up to 30 hours. It's pretty good. And finally, they're IPX4 sweat and water resistant. Mm. Very nice. Yes. So okay. these these guys right here cost me $329 Canadian. I got them with a gift card, so it wasn't that much. Uh take that for what you will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's jump to the Powerbeats Pro here. First of all, the case is like three times as big for these. Like I get uh -huh. it. They have like they have the nice hooks on them and everything, right? It kind of has to be yeah. this big. But uh yeah, I prefer something a little smaller. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. For it's, earbuds, yeah. I would too. I it's, mean, if it's headphones, it's another thing. It's a different story because obviously they're going to be bigger. But for earbuds, yeah, it makes sense to just want as compact as possible. Yeah. Um, so apparently the new ones, they support spatial audio. Mine don't. Mine are about mm. two years old, so I don't even have that. Um, there's nine hours of listening time. So that's three hours more than the AirPods Pro. But they don't have active noise cancellation, mm -hmm. right? Um, and also with the case, it's only 24 hours total of listening time, which is like six hours less than the AirPods Pro. Yeah, that's and, pretty significant. Which is crazy because I thought you would be able to pack a little bit more battery in this bigger case. You'd imagine, yeah. But apparently not. Um, they're still on the H1 chip as well. Because, I mean, the Beats, they, they really don't care about them anymore. Uh -huh. um, they also have the different silicone tips for a, a better uh, fit in your ear. They, as I said, they don't have active noise cancellation or transparency modes. And they're also not waterproof or resistant mm. at, at all. Which you'd think, that, like, they're meant for working out, right? Yeah. Like, that, I that kind of expect that. Should be essential if yeah. they're going to be working out because exactly most people if not every person sweats when yes. they work out absolutely now the the price is gonna scare you a little bit uh, 329.95 this is 95 cents more than the airpods pro yeah that's uh that's rough yeah so you're getting a bigger case less overall battery life mm -hmm. and no sweat or water resistance at all. I mean, the choice seems pretty clear to me if I had to pick between the two. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> let us know in the comments. Exactly. Yeah. If you're looking for some wireless earbuds and you're willing to spend this much, or if you have a, a gift card, Right? If you've got a gift card, get these uh, AirPods Pro second gen. They're pretty good. I like them. Good stuff. All right. That, that was about it. That wasn't very long. That's okay. I didn't expect it to be very long anyways. Um, my next topic is uh, coming from Casey Neistat. Mm. This, his, I'm very behind on my YouTube videos. So yeah, this, this yeah. probably came out like a week or two ago at this uh. point. Um. But Casey Neistat, he's now brand ambassador or he's part of the team at Joby. Yeah. Those uh, nice little gorilla pod company. I didn't know that they also sold microphones. Yeah, I did not know that either until you told me. Yeah, they do that. And they just came out with a microphone that goes onto your camera like a DSLR and it has a light on it. Okay, pause. Um, so that does look like a light. But from further research, that is not a light on the front of the microphone. It's only a status LED, but in no way is it powerful enough to light you as you're vlogging. So keep that in mind. I didn't notice that uh, when I was first researching it. But yeah, that is not 
an LED in terms of lighting you. It's a, just a status LED for the microphone. That is all. Our whole comparison is uh, kind of out the window there, but, uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the episode. Yeah, that's super interesting. Mm. I, is that like the first of its kind? I haven't seen I have never a seen mic with either. a light before. Yeah. If there is one, if you guys know of another one, again, let us know in the comments. But um, yeah, that's super cool. When I saw this, I instantly thought of the things we brought up. The, the gimbal? gimbals yeah. that yeah. have it all integrated as well. Yeah, it's super nice. It's just convenient yeah. for if you just want, you know, a light, small, easy, and literally just takes up like no more space. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, if you want like more advanced lighting setups, obviously it's not going to be perfect for that. Mm -hmm. But if you're, you know, stuck, you're just, just need something in a pinch, like, boom, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Yeah, it was, it was good. The, the sound from it sounded pretty good from Casey Neistat's video. Um, he didn't really show off much of the light, mm. which kind of disappointed in that. I wish he kind of showed it off a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's $400, okay. which is a bit pricey. I forget how much the gimbals were that we were talking about. I can't remember off the top of my head now. Cause that, if you get a gorilla pod, mm -hmm. if you, if you have a DSLR, you're probably getting the bit of a thicker one so yeah. it can handle the weight so that's a little more expensive plus the four hundred dollars i don't know if this is cheaper than those gimbals yeah but it's definitely an option it's I a pretty good option i'm pretty sure it's definitely cheaper than the gimbal i don't remember what they were but i'm 90 percent sure they were more than that yeah it, it i would mean have to be right considering you're yeah. getting the movement and all the of a gimbal the yeah um let me see if I can find it really quick. But uh, I mean, like the road mics can, what are they like two, three hundred dollars for like the, the ones that pop on your DSLR? Yeah. So I wouldn't say that's like outrageous considering you're also getting a light yeah. with it, which yeah, is which I mean, I nice. guess it also includes a battery because this little bottom part is looking pretty thick. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it is pretty thick. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does have all the inputs. It's got USB-C, a microphone uh, input, power button. Let's see. Okay, let's look at the Crane M3. There's a few. There's the M2S and the M3. Um, buy now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> um, maybe this one doesn't have the mic. This is the the... This one's 450. 450. Yeah, has the light. I do not see the mic in the standard kit. It might be with the combo kit or the pro kit. Um right, I'm checking the gorilla pods huh. as well. Ah, okay. Microphone comes with the pro kit, which is 790. Wow. Yeah. So it's quite a, a jump up if you're wanting the mic as well, but mm -hmm. you're getting a gimbal and you know, that's um, the, the, this thing, the gorilla pod or DSLR. Okay. So this one, a little bit more robust one, the mm. thicker one that can handle more weight right, is about 240 Canadian. It's on sale right now. Dang, I didn't know they were that expensive. They do get expensive. Um, they, of course, they have cheaper ones for like your phone. Yeah. That one's $84. But yeah, once you start stepping up to the, the ones that, that are heavier, yeah, price goes up a, a good, good bit. bit. Yeah, it's a good bit. Um, so what is that? 400 plus seven, the, 740 total for this, yeah. this. If you want this as a combo from Joby. Wait, 402 lot. something, 640, no? Four, yeah, six, 640, sorry. 640 versus 790. Yeah. But so one gives you smooth movement. That's true. Also has a battery life, whereas mm -hmm. the tripod is indefinite. So mm -hmm. it really depends on what 
you're gonna need it for. Yeah. What you're, what, what, you're, yeah. what, what yeah, what exactly you're looking for and what you're going for. Exactly. Because Casey Neistat, my guy, he doesn't care about all the crazy stabilization. Right. He's used the Joby for forever, as long as I've known him vlogging. Yeah. And they're like convenient. It's gonna be smaller than yeah. the gimbal too. Even though the gimbal is pretty compact, but mm-hmm. that thing I think is just because what it's probably like that and then what maybe like that big yeah roughly it's yeah it's pretty pretty compact pretty easy to pack in your bag whereas the gimbal comes in its own bag that's maybe Mm -hmm. this big which is so it's just kind of wider yeah so overall i mean i guess it's it's what what you're going for personally yeah again as a videographer exactly and what works for you and if you want to spend that extra money get that gimbal yeah i mean it isn't that much of a difference so. yeah yeah it's not too bad at that point i probably would go for the gimbal mm-hmm. but again yeah up to you guys there you go okay my last thing all right this is something that's pissing me off okay <laughs> we're getting a rant everybody <laughs> all right this is i'm gonna get very very nerdy here in a second okay it's to do with this car that came out recently. It's called the Mercedes AMG C63 S E Performance. Okay, what's pissing me off here is that this car now has an inline four cylinder engine. Mm-hmm. Let me give you some backstory and history on Mercedes. The AMG cars. They named them, like the numbers specifically, according to the size of the engine that they had. Gotcha. So the 63 part of it was that it had a 6.3 liter engine. Right. It wasn't actually 6.3. It was 6.2. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Um, So they they cheated a little to get it to 63. Yeah. 6.3. But anyways, the 6.2 liter, it was always a V8. Right, and they, they had like a 53, 43. Right, right. And it just, you know, went down. Um, so now they are naming this car the 63, but it's a two-liter engine, four-cylinder. <laughs> but anyways, that overall doesn't matter. It, it hurts knowing that we're going down the hybrid route because I forgot to mention this car is also a plug-in hybrid. It uh-huh. has an electric motor in it as well. That's why that's the e-performance part of the name. Um, it looks good. Of course it does. This is like AMG stuff. It, uh, I love AMGs. They look great. Um, but yeah, it's just sad knowing that they're getting rid of the V8. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and uh, soon there will be no more V8s. Anyways, let me get into some of the specs here because this is the good part of it, right? This is this is the good part of yep, yep. Um, electric cars because listen to this. With the engine and the electric motor, mm-hmm. you've got a combined 671 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque, taking you from oh. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.3 seconds. That yeah. is just insane. That is, yeah. And it happens to be faster than the V8 model previously. Lovely. So lovely. this is the good part yes. of, of electric cars, right? Of course. Once you combine gas and electric, you get some real nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, hmm, this is a funny stat. It can go around 13 kilometers in full electric mode. But that's not what this is for. Mm. This is for going fast really fast and finally it's also got all-wheel drive funny enough it's also got all-wheel drive in full electric mode which if you think about that if you're only driving with the engine it has to be connected to all four wheels Mm -hmm. and then somehow when you switch to the electric motor it still has to be like mechanically that is incredible that they Mm. can manage to do that yeah because usually you have electric motor at one side at the front of the back right right and then the engine gas engine powers the other 
two right. wheels. Right. So the fact that it can just switch like that and still have all wheel drive, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's about all I had to bring up for that one. Um, let me know if there are any car guys in, in, in the audience here that are also upset with the four cylinder in this thing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, okay it wasn't that bad of a rant i was expecting worse uh the way you um started yeah, off i it pisses me off initially and yeah internally yeah. it hurts right of course but i know that it's coming so yeah. i can't do anything about it yeah 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 there <laughs> right. um well yeah that's uh that's about it for today then isn't it yeah unfortunately no topics for me today ah uh. <laughs> um anyways thank you guys for watching as always be sure to like and subscribe and most importantly Ooh, click that bell i wonder what that sounds like on the new mics That's, i bet it sounds great um <laughs> tune in next week guys see ya <laughs>